Good morning, folks. Grandpa Greenwald here. Today we're gonna to cook some chili and sea bass. Oh, we did that yesterday. I wanted to jump in here this morning and just tell you that is the chili and sea bass is the absolute finest piece of fish that I've ever, ever eaten in my life. I was really hesitant, really, really, really hesitant in, in cooking that, but uh, we did the three point sear. It came out fabulous. The meat is soft, 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 and, and flaky. It brings its own buttery flavors that just, just jump out at you. Um, I'd like to compare it to a, to a, a piece of lobster, but um, and lobster doesn't even compare to the, the taste and the, the yumminess of this fish. So anyway, I just wanted to, to, to give that shout out to this fish. Now, let's get in there and watch this video. Um, Anyway, today we're going to cook. I picked up a really nice piece of Chilean sea bass. I uh, haven't had Chilean sea bass before, so we're going to try to we're going to get this this thing cooked um, in the made-in skillet. So let's go ahead and get it seasoned. Uh, we're not going to use a lot of ingredients. I have some butter. I have a couple of pieces of garlic and just some some salt and pepper in the dish. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle. Sprinkle some salt and pepper on this thing, or on this fillet, this chunk of meat. Um, we're going to see how this is going to cook. I'm a little bit, I shouldn't be concerned. This is fish. It cooks really quick. So I've had this the made-in preheating here um, at 360 degrees, trying to get it to tell me it's ready now. See that the uh, bubbles are... They bubble up and they bounce across the pan, kind of. See how, see how they're all bubbling on that pan right there? That's pretty good. I think that's that's about ready. So this sea bass only takes a few minutes. Um, we'll put a, a couple blobs of garlic in there. I'm not so sure how much we'll need. We'll go ahead and throw another one in there. Or not garlic, uh, butter. In there, but I'm going to go ahead and just chop up this garlic, get it down in there. We don't want to... We don't want to overpower anything, but I really want to bring a little bit, a little bit different flavor than just the, just the salt and fish. We're going to have, oh, that's, that's looking really nice there. Wow, very nice. Now let me go ahead and set this piece of fish down in there and we'll get that baby cooking. Pretty thick to cook in a pan, but all right, we're going to just let that sit, let it simmer. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Tempted to roll it over in that garlic, but we'll, we'll wait on that. We want this fish just to cook. Wow, that says one nicely there. Had to fire up about 375 degrees. Another Another little dollop of butter down in there. I'm going to let this sit just a, a couple more minutes. Then I'm going to flip it. I, hopefully that, that skin side is, is, is toasted a little bit. It's really, really thick. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to flip it on its side and then flip it on the other side. So we'll cook three sides, bottom, side, and side. How about that? Does that sound like a plan? So I'm going to let this asparagus sizzle up a little bit and, and soften up before we start that so I, because I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to move quick as we go. Chili and sea bass. These things, from what I was reading, they come in the ice, ice cold waters from around the islands in the the, the, the southern, southern, southern off of the coast of South America going down or headed down toward um, Antarctica. All right, let's just go ahead and layer down. We got this, at least the chill is coming off that asparagus there. Let me move that garlic and things out of the way. And then we'll just lay our sea bass down. Let me see if I can turn this pan around so you can see what the bottom See with the bottom of the fish. Wow, that looks really, really nice there. So we'll get us a little sear on here. 
Oh. And then we'll, we'll flip her again. Touch that other side with the butter and the garlic and mm, yum, 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 yum. I'm looking forward to this. I think it's quite a big piece of meat for me, but I'll do a I'll do a portion of it, and you know, you guys know me. I'll I'll be finishing it up for for breakfast. Ooh, that asparagus looking good now, looking really good. Wow. Look at that, baby. Beautiful piece of fish. I'll leave it just a couple more minutes on there. I don't want to overcook it. Now let me see that other side one time. Wow. Wow. Put our little butter and garlic. Wow. Beautiful piece of fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 